In this uh, short video I'm going to take a look at a way of sharpening your drill bits good enough for general uh, sheet metal work, in this case armouring. In most cases in armouring all you're doing is you're just knocking a hole in some material such as that, which is going to be filed out and changed later anyway. So the sharpness of the bit is just so that it works cleanly, works quickly, and doesn't skate across the surface. Uh, if you're a machinist um, or a, a proper tooling engineer, something like that, um, I would suggest this probably wouldn't get you accurate enough. Um, but if you're not used to sharpening drill bits and you just need them for general work, um, this will probably work just fine. So take a quick look at the theory behind what I'm doing um, and then uh, how I do it. <laughs> you can see from my chalk marks, I've done this about a thousand times. My chalk snap, the lines are all wrong and so on. But it goes to prove the point that I struggle to get the angle on the end of these drills done accurately. That's why I use this technique. So, last time. Here we go, let's try. I've got a short bit of chalk, it shouldn't snap. That's the surface of the metalwork that you're going to cut. You don't want your drill bit to be too sharp. If it looks like that, you've essentially got a centre punch. It's just going to knock a dimple in the metalwork there. If it's too shallow, it will skate across the surface, won't gain any purchase, and you're generally going to struggle um, with that. What you want is somewhere between the two. Like I say, I struggle with this. That's good enough for government work, I think. Get rid of those two, smudge them out a bit. And you can see there, this angle here is the magic angle. Let's try and cover that in. There we go. There's vaguely our magic angle that we're after, possibly. And you can see, I'm, I'm not a very good judge of this. I think it's supposed to be like 59 degrees or something like that. But I struggle with it. And because it's just general sheet work, what I tend to do is use a couple of these as a gauge. And I'll show you how I do that just now. Because it'll be a lot more accurate uh, than my drawing is there. So, first part of this video then, the gauge that I use couple of hexagonal nuts. You can weld them together if you need to or just put them in a vise like this. Judge it by eye. Remember this is just for general sheet work. So we don't need to get carried away. We're not trying to become machinists and engineers and so on. But this drill bit that I've got here that I was showing you earlier I found sort of discarded down the back of the workbench. I think probably because I got so fed up with it not working and doing its job properly I threw it away. Had nothing to do of course with me not knowing how to sharpen things. So putting it on this gauge that I've got here, let's see how it sums up. So if I hold it straight to the gauge, there we go, you can see how it's not even in the middle, the cutting edge, it's over this side. So I've got more light this side with the points over there. And you can see there's all this light in between. If I get that straight to it, I have to have it across here. You can see that angle there is not running the same as this angle there. So you can see how the gauge works really well. What I'd have to do in this instance is take more material off of this side and even them up. And then I've got one of the two angles I need to be worried about, or this pair of angles here, done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a quick sharpen, see how I get on, and then we'll talk about the second set of angles you need to worry about. I tend to use this belt sander for sharpening my drill bits. Now, I've seen a lot of folk, they manage to do it on the back edge here. I struggle with that, uh, to be honest. I mean, the whole process is something I struggle with, which is why I found out about these um, using the... Uh, hexagonal nuts like this. I struggle like that. What I tend to do is do it on the surface here because I can gauge that angle better. So I'll step around all the filming gear, see if I can get to there and show you what I do. I've been across the way there, giving it a quick test. It's a bit short on one side still. So I'll give that one more pass. There we go. So I'll give that a quick test. And we'll be good to talk about the second angle when we're done. So back from the uh, 
belt grinder across the way there. Let's have a look, see how we've done. I haven't checked this yet. Uh, not perfect, but certainly a lot better than it was. Um, I'd want to take this a bit closer to what it should be, uh, just because of the size of the bit. It works okay for smaller pieces like this one. Um, I'm going through the sheet material, but these larger ones, I like to get them a bit more accurate. Um, but you can see it's certainly a lot better than it was. And this little gauge has helped me govern that really, really easily. Another little bit. This bit here is a cutting edge. So this little sharp piece you can see should be cutting, as it goes into the material, cutting and clearing that material. It can't do that if the back of it here is lower than the front of it there. So I'll exaggerate it, but if this was the piece I was sharpening here, and this is the belt sander coming round, that's it straight. You need to angle it by dropping your hand about two or three degrees, only a tiny bit, and you'll just lift off the back and make sure that the front here is a cutting surface. So you can see, it really don't have to spend a lot of money buying various tools to sharpen things. Just learn to do it by eye. This is a really handy gauge as you get going. I've been doing this 10 years now, and I just, oh, I don't know, I've got a blind spot with this, and I never sharpen my drill bits accurately. So this is a really handy tool um, or gauge rather to have loafing around and dirt cheap. Um, just a couple of those stuck in a vise or welded or whatever you do with them. So I hope you find that useful and you can save yourself some good money now on all your drill bits.